back in the spot where they did some trenching. And well, you can see they've laid her out. And I wish it had been rained upon a little more, but it doesn't matter. I know that this is going to produce today, so I'm very excited to be able to hunt this. It's a good spot, so I could find points, all kinds of different kinds of tools. So I'm very excited. Um, I'd like to start out by saying, hey, everybody, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, I, I just can't say enough about that. Appreciate it. It helps push me. It truly does. So, I continuously, I mean, I love to do this stuff. So I don't need too much motivation, but it truly does add, it adds to the motivation. So, um, yeah, I just want to say I appreciate that and thank you. In this area, there's a little bit more blue Shockton. But man, I got a, that's a pretty nice little knife right here. You can see there's a lot of work. Right in there, if you can see that pressure napping right there. So this is spalled off a core flake knife that's uniface. Um, it's got a little bit of a medial ridge on the up front. That's pretty nice. It's thin and very sharp, everybody. Very sharp. Yep, that'll hurt you. So I have to be careful with this. You don't want to go reaching around. Run your finger across that with some pressure on it because your day is going to turn from good to bad real fast. See some good looking material, everybody. It looks like that's heat treated. Uh, so, um, this hill, there's a hill right here. This hill, that's where I found that really nice drill bit back around my birthday. So. I'm, I'm below it. And what happens is, is that through the process of erosion, and when they drag that hill, a lot of this stuff gets pulled to the bottom of it. So I'm hitting this, and I got a pretty nice artifact out of that batch right there. I cannot complain. That's pretty nice. There you go, everybody. So I'm gonna keep at it. And see you. And I got another one. This one's got a little bit more chunk to it, but nonetheless, same flint, uniface knife. Yep. Made up with black shock. And, yep. You can see the tip of it, you know, they gave it some extra attention. Alright, I'm still on this hillside. I'm about to the top of it, but man, they don't talk about a stinking heartbreaker. I mean, it's that ain't napped. Yeah, darn it. Sorry about that. That's damaged. You talk about freaking nice. Man. Yeah, it's a fine artifact. It's damaged here, damaged there. Big, like triangle blade. It was made nice too. Shame it's busted up. Ugh. Oh well, another one for the pocket. So I'm just staying at it, everybody. Is slow walking this. You know, you can't go too fast. I wish this was rained upon, but obviously it was good enough for me to hunt today. Because I've got some pretty good ones. That about right. there i think i'm seeing a point i've got a pocket full of stuff so before we go up on that i could be wrong but that's what it's looking like from a great distance i mean you look around this is where i i have not got within every bit of 10 a little over 10 feet of that but let's look at some of this stuff okay because i've i've thrown down so many preforms it Good ones too, some nice preforms, you know, made out of some nice translucent material. I'm everybody, you can get on Wikipedia and you can look up the Clovis site, it's called the Welling site. 
this field I'm not going to give the give away the store here but this field's very close to that site and over 50 Clovis points were found there Kirk sites Brewerton sites one of the greatest archaeological finds of all time is just right down the road but you can see this some kind of a tool a little bit more to it than just a preform huh I mean it's really worked in Scraper, maybe a preform. Really nice lance, lancet blade. Another one made out of Flint Ridge. Kind of a perforator or an awl. That's pretty awesome. That might be my best find of the day so far. And then I'm suspecting this is a broken drill bit. Find a lot of drill bits in this field. Sure do. There's a lot of work being performed in this field. I'm pretty sure that's a point ahead of me, everybody. So if it is, it'll be my day maker so far. But I've gotten a lot of nice stuff. I mean, look right beside this. I take a knee and what you know, there's killer blue black, shocked and flint. Um, more, more. All right, so let's walk forward here. Oh yeah, let's just hope the tip's on it, everybody. It's a notch. Hey, guess what? I'm I'm looking at a pentagonal. I know exactly what that is, and it's made of some great stuff. Um, there's a series of fields here along this road. Across the road, one day I found seven of them, and they were all really nice shape. Uh, four in one day, out of the same field. The field beside, oh, that's on the other side of the road. The field beside this field one day I found two or three of them so there's a, a really nice pentagonal culture here but I know that's what that is oh my god yes it's got the tip on it that's a good pentagonal right there man you can see it killer could be a little bit of damage right here unfortunately on one side Man, classic pentagonal form. It really is there, buddy. You can really see there where they were like the resharpen right there. Yeah. Point. Yeah, pentagonal, everybody. Those are easy ones to call. That last point, it might have been like an intrusive mound, maybe even Jack's Reef. I'm not sure on the point. You know, it's that last really great one. But nonetheless, I'll take that, everybody. Pentagonal. Yep, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, right in there, I think, everybody, you know. So, it has some flaws. But nonetheless, this is an old point. About four to 6,000 years old, right? too far it's behind me here i just gotta back back oh it's worked on yeah flower garden piece just a big worked on something not very fine you know but a lot of material on the ground everybody in this area so let's go back I can see it over there. I know it probably is going to get my feelings hurt. But it had some nice looking work on it. So it could be, I don't, it's, you know, maybe it, there's a break right there. I don't know. Let's pull it, everybody. Let's see, let's see what happens. Uh, what I tell you. Great big killer knife. Busted. Tip's gone. Probably a little bit of damage right there. Could have been a huge point, I guess, maybe. But I'm going to say knife. Anyhow, another broken artifact. I can't complain. I've got that pentagon in my pocket. And it's a pretty nice point. I mean, it's, you know, I like pentagonals. They're an older point. And, well, thinking about it, it's made of the same material as the drill bit that I found back in, what, February or January. 
came out of here. It's made out of the same stuff. And there it is, it's the same stuff. <laughs> Big broken free form. <laughs> oh well. I gotta get back at everybody. I don't wanna suck up all the video time showing broken stuff. I mean I could do that all day long. Imagine some of you would like to just go on these hunts with look at that core. That's an artifact. It's just it's everywhere in here, buddy. You know, why do you walk past that? I mean, man, I've got, <laughs> you know, hundreds and hundreds of pounds of cores and big blocks of flint. So sometimes I take it, sometimes I don't, but considering that I'm that far away, I'm very far away from the truck. I ain't carrying it. Yep. So, all right, I'm gonna get off here. I'm just there. This guy right here, like, it's a scraper and, all, and everything, you know, all the work's done right here. So some kind of like a shafted scraper. This, this is going to clean up real good. Look at that straight edge. Really nice looking work. Come on, you junk. Yeah, this camera, everybody, is a piece of crap. See the chipping. See what I'm saying? Look at the focus, how it's not working with me. Nonetheless, right there, you can see it. Some nice work on this item. Knife scrape or something that's pretty cool. So I'm finding them. And I have that point in my pocket as well, so. Um. <laughs> Let's see here, buddy. Yeah, I've got a little bit of hunting to do today. <laughs> nope, I'm going to get back at it. See ya. <sighs> well, everybody, what I think I have in my hand here is a bi point, and I found them in this field before, and I'm pretty sure that's what that is, is a big bi point. It's worked right there. It's worked right there. Oops, sorry about that. Right there. And right there. I think this is Burend. And then they got the on the other end there. You see all the work on it. So, well, no, that's broke. No, I don't think so. I think that's Buren because if this was broken, then why is it all the extra work right there on top of where the alleged break would be? I don't believe that. So I'm gonna snap them. I think that's a buy point because I found them in here before. So it's a crappy. I think it's a crappy one. <laughs> but that's what that is big buy point there buddy yep. yeah when I was younger I'd call those spikes but, yeah, the true definition of the buy point yeah, if it's not a buy point it's like some kind of a, like a gar slaw something like that maybe but I'm gonna call it a buy point Flake, like a flake blade. All right, everybody, I'm gonna get back off here. I got so much hunting to do. It's yeah, it's just it's nuts. <laughs> I am a long ways away from the vehicle, so yeah, lots of hunting, everybody. All right, everybody, knife, tool, something. All right, everybody, it's looking like a preform or a cash blade. Oh, gosh darn it. You want to talk about a killer, broken killer? Gosh darn it. Ah. <sighs> Boy. In the face in the scraper. Cool. See ya. Made out of bluish black kashak and a nice work. I did some nice work on that. Very nice little knife. There you go, everybody. Knife. <laughs>